Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. My name is Ani. Today I have a fantastic recipe for you. It's really easy and I've seen a few videos on this on the internet and I'm like, you know what? That can be a lot better than what they're making it. So I'm going to give you my version of meatball, Italian meatball and biscuits. Actually not Italian. It is Italian, Rosina, but it's Angus beef meatballs. Because most of the meatballs that you find in the grocery stores has pork in it, and we don't eat pork. So we went with Angus beef, which we ordered through Wild Fork Food. They are the best, I think, in meat products from the manufacturer itself. So... From the butcher itself, I should say. Okay, so we're going to use that. Here's what else. They don't have any ricotta on those other videos. And what's a lasagna or casserole, Italian casserole without ricotta? And mozzarella. They do have that and they do have sauce. Basically, all they have is biscuit, uh, sauce, meatballs, and cheese. And that's it. There's no peppers. No onions, no basil, no little bitty cherry tomatoes here and there. Uh, I've got my homemade passata I'm going to use along with some of this leftover spaghetti sauce. Okay, and this spaghetti sauce is tomato, basil, and garlic. They have no parmesan, parmesan, parmesan cheese on theirs or Romano. A pecorino romano, I'm going to use some of that. So a lot of changes. You know, here are the biscuits. And the cheeses I'm going to use is, again, the pecorino romano, parmigiano romano, uh, mozzarella, and provolone. So mix it up a bit. And of course the ricotta. Right now, I've got some garlic here too. They don't show any of that in the videos. I've got some... Mushroom flying up here, sauteing. So I'm gonna get take some Maggie and season them with it. Get a little flavor. Flakes. So I'm just start frying these mushrooms in some olive oil with a little bit of Maggie bouillon, chicken bouillon, and I'm gonna add a teaspoon of sofrito. Always have to add a little touch. Punto rico in the house. Just a little teaspoon. And let's saw on. Huepa, huepa, huepa. Okay. And let's saw on. That's what I'm in there. Oh my god, that smells so good. I'm telling you, you all, if you haven't tried so free, don't look at my video on how to make you some. I'm going to show you the first step. Let me bring you down some. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. Okay, so, open up the biscuits. You can use regular 
Oh, uh, these jumbo ones. Totally on you. Okay. Here's what we're going to do first. I'm going to put in some passata and sauce. You see that? That's the olive oil solidifying on the top. That's how you can tell you got good olive oil. When it solidifies in the refrigerator. Okay. So mix this up in here. Okay. Now remember the passata has no salt, no kind of seasoning other than the garlic and the basil, okay? So, sea salt. I'm going to sprinkle some sea salt. Two pinches. Should we do it? Should we do it? Here we should do it. <laughs> okay. And a little bit of regular sauce to fill in the spots. Okay. That's that. Then we're going to use our grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. Sprinkle. If I can get the lid, okay. Oh. Pecorino Romano, okay. All right. Then we are going to see this ricotta. We're going to put in some mozzarella cheese. The rest of this and mix it in there. With one egg. I put in, it was a half a container of ricotta. I put in about a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese on one egg. And I'm getting ready to stir this up here in just a second. Alright. We get the oven going to 375. I'm going to go bake. Okay. I'm mix this ricotta and this cheese in here. Okay. Here are my red and green peppers that I slice up and freeze. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lay down some, some red and green peppers. See that? If I don't keep moving that camera, I'm telling you, I'm really bad at it, and I'm, I apologize. I'll tell you, I think I, I got a crew over here running the cameras for me. <laughs> and here's some onions. For those of you who do not like onion, don't put it in. Just don't put it in. Or you may like it, but are allergic to it. It's one of my friends, Miss Gina. Gina, Gina. Calling you out, girl. <laughs> yeah. But if you don't like them or you're allergic to them, don't add them. Don't add anything that you are allergic to, okay, or don't like. Okay, I'm going to get a couple of basil leaves here. Okay. Oh, my God, they smell wonderful. All right. And we're just going to break them up in here. You can't believe how wonderful these smell. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Makes you want to just bite right on into it. It really does. All right, so there's my basil. Now, I'm going to cut up. 
my biscuits and you want to cut these in uh, eight pieces because they're big so I'm going to cut like this then like this then like that and then like that eight pieces each biscuit should give you eight pieces okay just like that and then you just drop them in okay I'm gonna be back as soon as I'm done I'll show you what I got okay so I got my biscuits in so now what I'm gonna do Here's my basil. Okay, a little bit of oregano. Oregano. Okay, put oregano in there. Gotta get that Italian in there. Now, we're doing some Cuban flakes. Why? Because I love these flakes. It's really not that hot. Just a little mild kick. If I can stand it, anybody can stand it, I tell you. Now, what you want to do is just line them up in your tray. So, okay, I'll put in some of these mushrooms in just a minute. Let me get my heat protector. These mushrooms in there. Excuse me, that's my pump. Always at the most inopportune times. Well, I'm glad I have it. Okay, done. Quick, isn't it? Mozzarella mix everywhere. Let's put in all the rest of these tomatoes that I just had laying around. Okay. All right. That's that. Take a pinch of salt. Okay. John, I'm all the cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and do this garlic. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the garlic. We're just gonna sprinkle it. Fresh pressed garlic. Okay.
Okay, that's that. I'm going to add some sauce. Pasta, homemade, and some regular sauce. Okay, and we're going to spread that. John. Okay, so that's that. The rest of this, the cotter, and with the biscuits, why not? Just dollop it. Okay. Put in some, put in some basil powder, some flakes. And some pecorino romano. Just cut those in there. I'm going to put more sauce on this, but first I'm going to bake it. Just like that. A little bit of salt. Crystallize. Okay. Alright. In the oven, it shall go. 375 and I'll check it after about uh, 40 minutes and if it needs more time I'll give it more time right now that's what I'm gonna do so time it for 40 minutes at 375 and the oven is set I will bring you back Okay, there it is after 40 minutes at 375. I'm going to put a little bit of sauce on this. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? And some chopped scallions. And that should do it. I will show you the final plate presentation okay look at that oh my god isn't this going to be delicious just delicious and a bit of mozzarella the 
cord. Not too much. It's got enough cheese in there, believe me. Take our scallions. Okay. And just slice and move. <laughs> There we go. How's that? Isn't that beautiful? That is a beautiful dish. Huh? I'm gonna put that in the oven. Turn the oven off and let that melt down a little bit. The mozzarella, and then we'll do a little pick. Let it cool off. Hope it gets home. I'll take a picture and I'll video the final plate presentation. And I shall bring you back. Okay, well, look at that. Look at that goodness in there. Ah, uh, Hubs is already eaten, and I just want to grab this meatball right here. Mmm, mm. I'm gonna try it. You guys have to try this. Seriously. Go ahead and give it a go. Do it the way I did mine. And I promise you, you're going to enjoy this recipe. This is absolutely, remarkably delicious. The Angus beef meatballs really kick it off. It really does. So delicious. Again, I got mine from wildforkfoods.com. If you can find them in your local grocery markets, by all means, do so. But if you can, you can order from Wild Fork Foods. Delicious Angus beef meatballs. This dish, oh my God, I really love it. I think this is going to be one of my faves. But you all give it a try. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe. Become a subscriber. And then to the right, there's a little bell. Go ahead and turn that on. Tap on that. And that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new recipe. As always, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves and one another. Until the next one. Bye.